The second defendant shall forthwith mandate the first defendant to within 90 days from the date thereof include on all the bottles of Fanta and Sprite soft drinks manufactured by the first defendant a written warning that the contents of the said bottles of Fanta and Sprite soft drinks cannot be taken with vitamin C as same becomes poisonous if taken with vitamin C. This is part of the judgment of the Lagos High Court in an almost nine-year-old case involving two claimants on the one hand and the Nigerian Button Company alongside the National Agency for Food and Drug Administration and Control, NAVDAC, on the other hand, over the safety levels of preservatives in these soft drinks compared to what is obtained in the United Kingdom. This news has sown seeds of concern in the minds of some Nigerians. Our, our, our authority should be up and doing. They should not just take Pihoma's life for granted. I think uh, government should at least check other products that are similar to it. Standard Organization of Nigeria, NAVDAC, should regulate these bodies as specified. So whatever consumers consume, the end product users should be self-guided. The reaction of NAVDAC to the issue is contained in a text message and it reads, NAVDAC is a scientific regulatory authority and will react both scientifically and legally on the matter at hand. Our lawyer has filed an appeal and a motion to stay execution of action on the judgment. Channels Television visited the office of the Standards Organization of Nigeria, SON, the body saddled with certain requirements for the production of soft drinks in Nigeria. We could not get any official to speak to us on camera, but in a document sent via email from the organization's communications department, the maximum level of benzoic acid in a soft drink is 300 milligram per kilogram without asorbic acid and 250 milligram per kilogram when it's combined with asorbic acid. However, a press release from the Federal Ministry of Health supports the claim by the Nigerian Bottling Company that a level of benzoic acid in Fanta and Sprite produced in the country are in compliance with both the Codex and Nigerian standards, taking into consideration environmental and distribution conditions. For the President of the Nutrition Society of Nigeria, there is no cause for alarm. Experiments that have been done with animals show that when it is as high as two gram per kilogram body weight of the rat it becomes a uh, litter that like can lead to the death of that uh, rat what researchers have noted is that nobody will consume up to 0.02 percent of that two grams in human body the reason is that even this basic acid it easily permeates the lining of the digestive tract and uh, gets its way to the liver where it is converted to a more soluble form and it can easily be excreted. He however sounds a note of warning that under certain conditions some of these preservatives can become unhealthy. But it is possible for basic acid to react with vitamin C or what we call ascorbic acid, to produce a chemical called benzene. Benzene is a carcinogen. It can cause cancer. But the conditions required for this to take place are quite stringent. Number one, there must be enough heat. Number two, there should be maybe ultraviolet light and then metallic ions. What most Nigerians may not know is that benzoic acid and other additives that serve as preservatives are found in some other processed foods such as cosmetics, canned or packed foods and as edible coatings. A professor of biochemistry at the College of Medicine, University of Lagos, Osariti Ebohi, explains that a lot more needs to be done by health authorities in Nigeria in terms of research into these preservatives. Due to some uh, health concerns, there have been, uh, there have been some uh, years or times when some additives have been reported to become carcinogenic. 
and some countries take some very strict measures to reduce the amount of these additives in their food products. I would say that we may need to step up a little bit as to carrying out more research in our preservatives and then uh, seeing how from time to time we can either remove some from our list because there are quite a number of them or completely even reduce the quantity with which we add. Although the Federal Ministry of Health in its press statement encouraged all soft drink bottling companies in Nigeria to insert advisory warnings on all products as necessary, Professor Eboi advises Nigerians on how best to take medicines. Our drugs are chemicals. So why using chemical again to take another chemical? So the best liquid we really need to use or that is recommended anywhere in the world should be water portable water. When that is taken, that is the best. While Nigerians do their part by ensuring that they take more than a person interest in their health, the Federal Minister of Health and other health agencies in Nigeria need to provide more health information to the people so that Nigerians can make informed choices. You're me, Otaigwe, reporting for Channels Television News.